Thank you all for joining me here today on AJ's Cooking Show. Today, we are going to make spaghetti with fresh garlic bread. I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Now, before I actually start, let me go over and share the recipe with you. This is the recipe for fresh spaghetti. Everyone knows how to, you just <clears throat> get a large baking dish, a large pot, fill it with water, I always put a little bit of oil. Some people put a little bit of butter, but butter does not prevent the pasta from sticking. Oil does. And we're going to add a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. And then we will continue to fill up the pot. Okay, now we're going to use regular spaghetti today. It calls for a special kind of pasta. You don't have to get the exact pasta the recipe calls for, for making just spaghetti and with garlic bread. There's no need to drive yourself crazy. Just use regular spaghetti. And then we're also going to need one, one jar of spaghetti sauce with meat. And optional, optional is the grated Parmesan cheese. This, this part is very easy. Now let me share with you the the garlic bread. I will show you how to make it go. Okay. We need one 16 ounce loaf of Italian bread, which I have. We need some fresh cut parsley which I will show you in a moment. We need some fresh garlic, four gigantic cloves of garlic, peeled, crushed, and minced, and two sticks of butter. And of course, Parmesan cheese as an optional garnish. Now let's get started. First, we're going to start our garlic bread. Now, to make things easier for me, I'm going to cut the garlic bread in half. And then very carefully, you take the garlic bread, slice it in half. 
carefully. Just go very slowly. You don't want to cut yourself. You see, we have our two slices of bread. That's that's only from half of the loaf. Now we're going to slice the other half. Still being very careful. You hold the bread down with one hand, just to start it. Go in the middle. Very careful. Always use both hands. One hand always steadies the item. The other hand is always to grip the knife firmly while you're holding the bread. Take it very slowly. Don't try and rush this. Step. You don't want anyone to get hurt. And this is our second half of the bottom. That's how you know it's true Italian bread when it's that hard to cut. Okay. Now we have this. We have our food processor plugged in. You need one stick of butter. Take your but your I, I take out two sticks of butter. I usually like to make it a double batch of everything. But for today's purpose, we're gonna make a single batch. Today we are going to start a double batch. <clears throat> Get out our hand mixer. And we're ready to go. Right? Now, when you when you do add the butter to the garlic mix, make the garlic spread to the garlic bread. Always cut your butter up, even if it's softened. Just easier to incorporate. Make a small knife. Up into sections. We're going to chop our garlic up.
Now, I have a garlic press here, so we're not gonna have to mince our, this will mince it for us. We're gonna place one clove of garlic in at a time. One of our peel cloves of garlic. my little clove and we're all finished. As you can see, it comes out already minced, if you can see how small it is. So there's no need to do it. Now we have our fresh Italian parsley. Actually, we're gonna break off a little heads of parsley off of the stock, we don't want the stock. It is nice to get all your baking things aside. Everything cut up ahead of time. It'll save you a lot of time in the end, believe me. If you get a little bit of the, <clears throat> it's okay. Now we're going to get chopped, it's very finely. You can buy chopped parsley from the store, but it's not the same as, as cutting up fresh parsley. over again with what I'm doing. I've showed it before. <clears throat> with what you take a, this is not ordinary steak knife, a cutting knife, not a serrated blade, like we used to cut the bread. You want a regular knife. Okay. Now with one hand, holding the blade down, holding the bottom edge of the knife. 
you grab the handle with the other hand really fast with the locking motion right through the part hook. I don't know if you can see this, but this is very fine. Now we're going to start our spaghetti. And then we're going to make the bug. Say a little bit of um, how we're going to do that. And we're going to do our mix. Gently because I that most of the is going to slide. Then we'll just take our spatula, push up any extra that are caught in our beaters, and we're all good to go. And then we'll spread this on our bread, our Italian bread, put it in the oven, and start our spaghetti. And then I'm going to show you a quick video. I'll show you the recipes one more time. And then I'll show you a quick video of what we're going to do next week. And the supplies that you need. It's gonna be really fun next week. We're gonna make cake pots. I'll just scrape them in a bowl very good. It's a spatula. You <clears throat> really even need our measuring cups and measuring spoons today. <clears throat> was all right. See, that was very simple.
Now we have our tray with our garlic bread. Take the top off of each section. Get some tin foil out. Start. Use the back end of the spatula. Okay, spread it evenly. Now, push them back together. Our tops. These are two bottoms. They're the same exact thing. One more. For a crunchier garlic bread, just leave them like this, uncovered. But if you want a softer garlic bread, you put each one on top of its loaf. Take some tin foil. And back to slow. Now we put them in the oven for 10 minutes. Now we're going to turn the soul up to high for our spaghetti. In the oven. And we will set our timer for 10 minutes. minutes for our garlic bread. Now 
Our password. You <clears throat> want to save your time. Um, no. Want to save yourself some time? You can actually break this in half, but I think it'll be okay. It's a small enough possible. <clears throat> now, while our garlic bread is cooking, I'm going to go over the recipe with you one more time. It's a recipe for the garlic bread. It's pretty simple. All you do is you, you mix together the soft, the very soft and butter, a, a heaping teaspoon full of parsley, four cloves of garlic mince, Neither go to press or you chop them up with the knife. Stir all that together until everything is very well incorporated, then you whip it. You need a hand mixer for this. You can't do this by hand. Use a hand mixer. Then you take your two loaves of bread, you cut your garlic off, your Italian bread loaf in half. Then you cut it in half long ways. So you actually have four sizes. Then you spread the garlic butter out on each half. I roll it in tin foil because I could do a softer garlic bread. I don't want my garlic bread really crunchy. Now let me share with you. Well, I don't have to share spaghetti with you. Everyone knows how to make pasta. Um, now, while this is finished cooking and our water is boiling, I will show you a quick video on what we're going to do next week.
Okay, now that our water is ready, we're going to add our spaghetti. I always love to air on the side of caution. After I add the spaghetti, I'm just going to add a little bit more oil and turn it down to not a low, like two or three or four for the pasta cook. Do this at a handful at a time. You're gonna break it into the water, okay? You're not gonna add a hole. You can if you want. I really wouldn't recommend that. Make sure you stir the pasta before you lower the temperature. You want to get every single strand coated with oil or as much as you can. Now we're going to lower this to a four. And the garlic bread is almost done. Now the only thing I forgot to get ready is our strainer. Sorry about that. Make sure to turn the oven off. Make sure the oven is off. Let's go let it rest here a minute. It 
it's always good to check your pasta. You want to give it a stir. You don't want it to stick. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as that's finished, we're going to drain our pasta. And then we're going to put it back in the pot and add our sauce to it. Let's get out another pot holder. Just set it right here on the counter. So this is where you're going to set your pot. I'm going to go out of bed. Now we're just going to leave it in the oven. It's all ready to go. We're going to leave it in the oven at all. So stay nice and warm. <clears throat> now next week, yeah. well, while our pasta is finishing, let me go over what we're going to do next week. Hello? Next week, we're going to make cake pops. We're going to use these silicone molds. Actually, we're, or only, we're not going to use these, we're, but we're going to use that, um, that green bag and have nothing chocolate. We're going to go through next week. I'm sure we're going to have loads of fun doing that one. All you have to use is a little cake pop. You know, they do like the video said, and to make a special cake mix, you don't need to do that. Just take any barrel cake mix and use that for your molds. These molds come in two pieces. You put the cake mix in the bottom part. You lay this on here and you snap it together. Make sure it's sealed very well because you don't want any of this spilling while baking. And our cake mix, and you just spill them the cake mix. Now, I think our spaghetti is in this bag. Let's give that a few more minutes and we'll be good to go. Like I always tell you, a good cook not only lays out all the ingredients or most of the ingredients at a time, but also cleans up fully after themselves. You never want to make a delicious meal and have somebody else bother to clean up for you. That's not fair. <laughs>
Let's do one more world. Here we go, we got one right here. Just try to take one little strand, and make sure it's soft enough. Oh, that's soft enough so it's positive then. Some people like to run cold water in their pasta. I don't think there's any need for that, really. Now we just get a pan. It's been drained. Back on the heated burner. Yeah, and then the whole jar is good sauce. That's meat flavor, and just mix that around. Now, I always take my tomato jar, turn it upside down at this point. And then I add just a tiny bit of minced garlic. Actually, we're going to add garlic powder. And instead of using salt, I use adobo. And I use the garlic powder. And some garlic powder. Now, I like garlic. And it's very healthy for you. Let's get it right out and plate everything up. Let's enjoy our nice meal. Oh, the bread is not that hot. Now, for cutting garlic bread, you always want to use a serrated knife. You do not want to use a regular knife. Serrated knife is better for cutting breads.
So we're going to see our cutting board that we use to clean. Just going to give it a wipe off. And we're going to move our garlic bread to our cutting board. One, two, three, we have our four sides. Now we can take other garlic bread. It's already sliced in half, but it's much easier to handle. We're going to cut it in four seconds. One, two, now we're going to plate up our wonderful meal. going to get out the pasta. Let's see it up. see this we have our our beautiful spaghetti with garlic bread and i hope you all join me next week as we make cake pops i'm sure you're all going to love that now if there are any questions about logging on to watch this it's going to be posted on our member support page as well as if you log on to Zoom tomorrow morning, Thais will have it for you there also. Thank you very much for joining us all today. Have a great day.